Hey, how's it going? This is Tim, Shark Eyes Bros, Porsche Pros, out here in the garage. We're going to have a 944 manual out with me. I'm currently working on a couple different things. The priority I have right now is to get my air conditioner going. So I've done a couple things, and I'll tell you about that. I also have a couple things sitting over here. And I've got the 924S sitting here in the garage. And I'm working on the air conditioning for that. Now, the 944... I have, which is an 87, um, this had an air conditioning system that was bad. I put a new compressor on, bought one online, three, four hundred bucks, and put it in. Put a new condenser in the front. Down here it looks like this. This one's actually new too. Um, these have new hoses. I've got new hoses sitting over there that I had custom made. And um, basically trying to tackle the 924S here. Why? Because I live in Florida and it's very hot. So anyway, um, these cars oftentimes have bad ACs. Um, this one's set up a little bit different. If you notice, you know, the interior of a 944 after 85 and a half, 80 is basically like this. It has a little more modern looking dash. And the dash inside of a 924S still has the old style, which I kind of like, it's like a cockpit. More like a racing style. I got a Momo wheel on here, so it's nice. I also have the uh, sport seats added bonus, which actually sit a little lower. I'm not sure I really like that all that much, but uh, anyway. So the air conditioning setup in here is going to be a knob in the middle. And then you have a couple controls over here. And the air box, which I call the air coil, is over there. I've got, I had to take out the um, glove box and then a panel down below, and there's actually just a little hanger in the back, and then a couple bolts in the front. You can pull it out, drop it down, disconnect, and I've got all the garbage laying down there, the wires. So that's kind of a challenge, getting all that back together. But I'm gonna do it, because I need air. So, down here, underneath the alternator, you've got the serpentine belt. And by the way, there's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's also is there four or six? So you have to check the ribs of the belt. This one here I think is probably got a number on it somewhere if I pull it up. And the thing I wanna say is you wanna make sure on your 924S when you put it on the uh, cam pulley to make sure it goes that side. You've actually got another groove. You could put it on the back side. When I did that, it made a lot of noise. See how this says five PK? That is what you want for a 924S. Don't hold me to it, but check it out for yourself, but that's what I found. If you walk into AutoZone and ask for the belt for this car, they'll give you one that is a six, which is actually for the 944 of the same year, and I think their uh, information is coming out wrong. I put one on once, and it slid off the belt, went around, wrapped around my power steering, and destroyed it. Don't do that. So, if you look down here, this one is a uh, line that goes all the way back. I'll try to wiggle it so you can see it. Right there's one, and then you see the port here. That's your low, and there's a hole here and a hole down below that, and that's over on this side here. So just to get you familiar and oriented, essentially what you have is on the 924S, there's two openings, the one down here below and the one here. Now I'm going to have to cut this off with some sort of a hacksaw and get that out. There's one on the other side and then fit my new hoses in here. Um, I think this one is my low pressure and it's got a little curly thing. So I have to feed that through and then try to get this to bend around, put it in the right place and all that junk. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I had the port for the low pressure put back a little further because I found it to be jammed up back here every time I went to put my gauges on it's actually kind of tight and you can see right now here's another thing this ground wire is really um, needing some attention so I changed this on the 944 but you know it's like you gotta choose your fights with these cars and choose which one you're gonna do I mean so many things to do um, this will come later it's been running fine I'm not gonna worry about it right now it's a ground these are all cracked these have to be replaced so anyway, we'll get to that. Um, one thing I did do, which I hope you don't do, when I first bought this car, that bolt um, was not there, so I went ahead and I drilled down, tapped it, put a new uh, bolt in there, it's like an M8, and 
went down too deep and guess what happened? So right below that is this thing, which on mine is right here. And I actually put a hole in there. And because I was trying to get this hole as deep as possible and I thought I had metal, I ended up putting a hole right through my uh, air coil, like duh. So uh, anyway, this was early on. I didn't know what was down there and I should have never drilled it, but these are the kind of things that happen when you work on. If anybody's ever done construction work or anything like that, I used to work in a, a, a wood shop making furniture. And occasionally you cut something too short, you just deal with it, sand through something, mess it up, you just fix it. So anyway, I've got this, got a replacement. I'm gonna put it all together. The other thing I found on this to be kind of uh, a, a sort of a new thing for me is this compressor, I'm being told, is one of the best out there. It's a Nippendenzo original. Now, I also have a mechanic that says after 10 years, you should be replacing these anyway. I don't have this in yet, so I can't guarantee it's gonna work. I'll tell you a little bit about the compressor. Is essentially somewhere in here in this area, this bearing was there, and it's a little hard for me to do, but can you hear that? So it sounds like a, like a roller skate, you know, it's noisy. Yeah, there you go. And this one, silent. So you wanna check that out if you're gonna reuse this. It only took $32, 30 bucks at my local AC shop, which in Miami, there's one over here. Um, but anyway, uh, find an AC shop, they'll pull a bearing out, put a new one in, hopefully that takes care of that. The other thing is you wanna test this. So you wanna, this needs to go to power. And if you hear a little click, 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 that means your uh, clutch works because essentially this spins freely until you engage the clutch, then it grabs hold and starts pumping the compressor. That's how it works. And the other thing you wanna do, if, if you spin this, you can kinda of hear it gurgling. Hear that? So this one's gonna come out and this one's gonna suck in. So what you could do is sometimes if you put your finger on or a glove, you'll actually turn it and then when you let go, you'll hear a little puff of air and this one you can actually feel being sucked in. If you, not this, but the clutch part, you can actually get that. So you can test it three ways. One is the bearing nice and quiet. When this was in, you could hear it and feel it. You can feel like a grrr grinding and you could hear it. When I put the new one in, nothing. And then I did test this on a 12 volt, so you wanna just touch this. If it's grounded, you just touch it to power, put a gator clip onto your battery or something, be safe, but um, you can do it that way, okay? This is the core, this is the expansion valve, and these are the kind of things you have to become familiar with if you wanna do this stuff yourself. If you wanna spend two, $3,000 to have a shop do that, go right ahead, it's gonna be expensive. If I had to do all this stuff in a shop, oh my God, it would be, they would just laugh at me. And sign over your half a year's wages. But anyway, I'm gonna do it myself. I got the other one working, I'm happy about it. You're gonna need these gauges and you're gonna need something that looks like this. Boom. So this was a little thing off of, uh, I can't tell you the specs on it, I can tell you you hook up here and you're gonna need something like this, usually red and blue. And you wanna go ahead and take care of those things. So. I'm uh, going to tell you the pressures right now because I don't have them memorized. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. That's pretty much where I'm at with the air conditioning. It is a lot of work. Um, I've pulled this thing in and out so many times it's like easy for me. But um, you want to take off your air box, which mine's sitting right over there. Not too terribly hard to do that. A couple bolts here, two tins here, and this is also one of the lines, and that's where your dryer sits. So what components do we have? Compressor, condenser, looks like a radiator, air box, and hoses. You can have all these hoses remade at a local shop or you can buy them online. If you wanna spend 150 bucks, go right ahead. If you wanna buy them online, they're usually about, uh, I mean, if you wanna have them made by a local shop, 40, 40 bucks is what I paid per hose, okay? That one was a little more because it had more junk on it. All right, so that's the air conditioning update on the 924S. It has been a bit of a chore. I have been back and forth to the air conditioning shop three or four times. The guy uh, treats me like family now because it's like he knows me. Like, okay, I've been there so many times. I'm gonna get this thing fixed, gonna get it going, but it's good to find one of those shops around. I called up a garage and asked him where do I go to get hoses made and they gave me the number of this guy. So that's how I did it. Um, you can't. It's kinda hard to actually find one unless you already have this knowledge, but hopefully in your area you'll be able to put something together. Not really easy to find all this stuff online. A few of these hoses you can, 
you could probably buy them used, but if you buy them used, they're going to be 30 years old and they probably need replacements soon anyway. And that's it for now. So this is Tim, Shiraka Bros, Porsche Pro, signing off.